August 2021 saw the first trailer for No Way Home hit the internet, and suffice to say, fans absolutely lost their minds. They were met with returning villains, head-scratching revelations, and more, but it wasn't enough. It didn't take long for the Marvel fandom to call for a second teaser, and at long last, Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures have obliged. Aside from giving us a better sense of what to expect from the film, our latest look at No Way Home is packed with small details that you might have missed. The No Way Home trailer was full of interesting parallels that served as callbacks to former Spidey flicks. Perhaps the biggest reference to an older film came toward the end of the trailer when MJ falls off some scaffolding, and it looks like Peter may or may not be able to save her in time. We see their hands almost come together, but we'll have to wait for the movie to see if MJ is saved. Fans of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 were likely taken back to the tragic moment when Gwen Stacy dies in the film after falling from a clock tower. Peter tries his best to save her, but even though his web latches onto her at the last second, it doesn't do so in time to prevent her from hitting the ground. The camera work in No Way Home shows MJ falling the exact same way, zooming in on her face with wide eyes as she plummets in slow motion. Let's just hope MJ's fall has a much better outcome. R.I.P. Gwen. It's worth noting that the first MJ actress, Kirsten Dunst, also had a dramatic falling scene in 2002 Spider-Man, though thankfully she survived it. Fingers crossed that the same holds true this time around. As virtually all of the Spider-Man No Way Home marketing material has revealed, Tom Holland's Spidey will do battle with villains from across multiple Spider-Man film franchises. Yes, even the widely panned Amazing Spider-Man series is getting in on the action, with Reese Ifan's Lizard and Jamie Foxx's Electro returning for another go-around. The former Dr. Kirk Connors looks largely the same as he did in 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man, but that sentiment doesn't apply to his electrifying companion who's sporting an entirely new look. When The Amazing Spider-Man 2 hit theaters in 2014, fans weren't very keen on Electro's updated appearance. The glowing blue skin and black bodysuit didn't remind fans of the fabled Spider-Man foe in the least, echoing the visuals of the Ultimate Spider-Man comics version more than the classic incarnation that everyone loved. Thankfully, it seems that No Way Home has corrected this creative misstep by giving Max Dillon a more Steve Ditko-inspired aesthetic. The second trailer showed off the new and improved Electro in all of his lightning bolt masked glory, ditching the neon blue altogether. Of course, this begs a question. Is this version of the character even the same as the one from the Amazing Spider-Man sequel? Or, if we look to the Disney Plus series Loki for multiverse clues, is it a variant Electro? We'll just have to wait and see. One of the big focuses of the new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer is how all of these villains are supposed to die fighting Spider-Man. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. And with Tom Holland's Spidey being the good guy that he is, it seems, or at least the trailer implies, that he wants to save them in some way, even as he battles them. Perhaps this points to the antagonists of No Way Home not being the old villains. What if there's a bigger foe behind all of this? After all, Alfred Molina's Doc Ock seems oddly mentor-like to Peter in the trailer, which fits with his sympathetic interpretation in Spider-Man 2 as well. Of course, it's important to note that trailers for MCU films are notoriously filled with misdirection, so who knows if any of what's shown here is what actually happens in the film. Another factor to consider here is the role of Doctor Strange in the film. While he seems to genuinely want to help Peter fix the mess that they've made together, he also seems to be at odds with Peter's apparent mission to save the villains from their fate. Will a big conflict brew between the two? Is Doctor Strange more of an antagonist than a supporting character here? Again, misdirection is a big tool in the MCU trailer playbook, but it would be an interesting direction for the film to take, nonetheless. Of all the shocking and exciting new reveals in the newest Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, we arguably get the most from Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? However, while Doc Ock himself is wonderfully familiar, there's something different about his famous tentacles. This change appears during two scenes with Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the trailer. When you look closely, the tentacles seem to have a coating of red that was not present in Spider-Man 2, a color that could indicate Stark technology. The reason for this would be unclear, but probably has something to do with Doc Ock's arrival in the MCU. For instance, did he steal Stark tech from Peter's Spider-Man costume and rework it to fit his tentacles? If anyone could one-up Tony Stark, it would be the brilliant Octavius. Did he break into a Stark facility and sneak a peek himself? Either way, an upgraded Doc Ock is not something Spidey should be happy to see. In the first trailer for No Way Home, there were subtle hints at the villains we would see in the film. The only sure thing was the appearance of Doc Ock, who showed up swinging his metal tentacles like the good old days. Sandman, Electro, Green Goblin, and Lizard were hinted at, but we never saw them outright. That all changed in the second trailer. Here, we have been given head-on views for all four baddies, and we even hear some dialogue from Electro and Green Goblin. 
You're not gonna take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling. This surely confirms that Peter will be taking on a group of supervillains long rumored to be the Sinister Six. But if so, who is the sixth villain? For that matter, will there be a sixth villain? The comic book supervillain team surely isn't called the Sinister Five, but if there is a sixth bad guy in the mix, then Sony and Marvel Studios have done a fabulous job of keeping this mystery character just that. The biggest fan speculations online suggest the sixth member is Vulture, Mysterio, or Venom. All have solid chances of showing up in the film, and maybe we'll get more than six villains after all. One of the most incredible shots from the No Way Home trailer comes toward the end when Peter is flying in the air toward Electro, Sandman, and Lizard. While we'd never rule our Spidey out, it's an unfair fight, and it doesn't look like Peter stands a chance. Luckily, it seems like this is not a three-on-one battle. Based on the position of the characters in the scene, where they are facing and where they appear to be heading, it definitely looks like this is a three-on-three -three battle. The only villain that seems to be going for Peter is Sandman, who is staring him straight on. Lizard's positioning makes it look more like he's going to breeze right past Peter, and Electro seems to be facing upward away from the web slinger. This very well could be the scene when Peter and two other Spider-Men, that would be Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield if the past year of rumors is correct, team up and attack the supervillains together. Marvel trailers are known for editing out characters and objects, and it's highly probable they were removed from this pivotal scene in order to save the appearance for the final film. The MCU Spider-Man is no stranger to overcoming insurmountable odds and villains of all shapes and sizes. He has already put Adrian Toomes, better known as the Vulture, behind bars and thwarted Quentin Mysterio back's evil schemes, in addition to bravely squaring off with Thanos multiple times. However, it's clear that he's biting off a little more than he could chew in No Way Home by standing up to multiple superpowered rogues at once. To make matters worse, the loudmouth J. Jonah Jameson will be there to watch it all go down. After making The Daily Bugle's editor-in-chief a highlight in director Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, J.K. Simmons returned as a new version of J. Jonah Jameson via Far From Home. Instead of barking orders at his newspaper staff, he's now a desk-pounding talk show host with a clear dislike for Spider-Man. His 2019 comeback was a huge surprise to moviegoers, leading them to wonder if it was a mere one-off or if Simmons was in for the long haul. The second No Way Home trailer supplied the answer by showing fans a quick glimpse of the MCU scowling Mustachio Jameson on a city street. Time will tell how much screen time he'll score this time around. Back when the first trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home came out, we got a sense of how all the chaos in the film comes to be. Peter asks Doctor Strange to perform a spell that will make everyone forget who is behind Spider-Man's mask. While the spell is being conjured, Peter panics that Aunt May, Ned, and MJ won't remember who he is. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop talking. The No Way Home trailer seems to confirm that the spell doesn't go quite as planned, or does it? MJ and Ned are peppered throughout the trailer, and they all seem to know Peter as Spider-Man at various points in time. Granted, no trailer is ever put together in chronological order, so this can't be definite, but it does look like Doctor Strange could not complete his spell. Or that if he did so, the loved ones who Peter did name were somehow spared from the great memory loss. Either way, given the fact that there's now a bunch of multiverse madness going on, it appears as if Peter's non-stop chattering during The Conjuring really did blow things wide open, and it probably would have been best to keep his mouth shut, assuming, again, that this isn't Marvel once again using the trailers to misdirect us. Spider-Man No Way Home hits theaters on December 17th. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite Marvel movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.